hey guys welcome back to my channel akusia benhin here if you're new you're welcome if you're a tiny subscriber thank you so much for coming back i love you in today's video i'm going to be doing a skincare video that's why i'm here looking like this in today's video we're doing a skincare and chat this is pretty new so we're going to be masking i'm going to be doing my deep cleansing masking basically chilling drinking some juice and then also answering some questions. It's going to be a really fun video, chatty video, so um, please keep on watching, don't go nowhere. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload. And let's get into the video. <music> now let me tell you guys what I'm going to be talking about. I saw this thing on, I was looking for video ideas and then I came across a new year's tag something of that sort so basically it's new year's tag questions so i'm gonna be reading the questions and then answering the questions and then doing my skincare on the side so this promises to be fun so grab some juice so my skin is already cleansed i already took my shower and everything so um like it's pretty much ready for the masking process so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it um, for today's mask, I'm using Freeman. This is a clay mask, avocado and oatmeal. This is what I've been using for a while now. It's been treating my skin good, you know, honestly. I haven't used any other mask apart from this for like about a month and a half. So it's pretty good. I like it. Um, so I'm going to take my mask applicator and then just go ahead and do that. First question says that... If you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? Ooh, what memory would that be? Maybe working out. Um, and then I just fell off at a point, you know, close to October-ish, November. But yeah, most definitely, I honestly don't think... That is even a memory. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. So then, I don't think there's anything. 2020 was on its own, like, a pretty shitty year. But yeah, I don't think that there's any memory <laughs> that I have as of now that I'd want to relive. Let me just say that. As of now, I don't have any memory. What was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished from last year? One New Year's resolution was losing weight and eating healthy, starting a healthy, healthy lifestyle. Most definitely, I accomplished that. Shout out to me. <laughs> like, I definitely did accomplish that. Oh, I'm actually very proud of myself. You know, it's so hard to, it's not so hard to, like, get to your New Year resolutions and goals and stuff like that. But if you get the chance to go through them or get through them, you're proud, you know, so... That's definitely one, one resolution that I'd say that I was able to achieve. So I'm here for it. All right, guys. So I have my face mask on now. Um, I'm gonna go through like two more questions, and then I'll leave this for it to dry, and then we'll do the rest of the skincare because that's the part that I like, like my serum and everything. You know. The third question is, three words to describe last year. Last year was chaotic. That's the first word that comes off like that comes that immediately comes off the top of my brain you know chaotic and then unexpected yes unexpected unexpected and then it was a teacher basically if yeah teacher <laughs> it thought me a lot of things i'll say teacher and then the fourth question is best music related creation or inspiration last year by an art an artist in your opinion last year there was so many good music if, if that's what the, the question is saying best music related creation or inspiration last year by an artist in your exactly i think i think last year 2020 one thing that it definitely did was made a lot of people artistic so we did see different talents in so many ways there were like so many amazing talents which like we still see right now so 2020 definitely did groom some talent so i can't say like one talent for sure um but yeah i'll say that a lot of other talents were okay fifth question something 
something you're looking forward to this coming year something i'm looking forward to this coming year <laughs> i'm geeked um this 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 coming year i'm looking forward to everything that's good in all honesty i'm looking forward to something i'm looking forward to i can't share that with you guys right now but i'm looking forward to something that is amazing that is great and as i want to get here like i'll show it to you guys you know like i'll share it with you guys so yeah i'm looking forward to something the next question is what did last year teach you exactly see this this thing knows oh this thing knows it says what did last year teach you last year taught me so many lessons last year one thing that last year tested was my strength it tested my strength in so many different ways in how to approach issues you know, like how to, in so many ways. It taught me so many things. I don't think that I can say just one thing that it taught me. Um, it, it taught me to appreciate family and the people that I have around me, the people that I have in my life who actually care for me. People like, who like consider me as like a person in their life, you know? Um, yeah, it made me appreciate that because we had to communicate a lot, so. I think one thing that I appreciate a lot from 2020 was basically just appreciating people, living in like the moment, you know, appreciating the people that I have around me and stuff like that. It was fun. Okay guys, so my skin is cleansed now. I'm going in with an elixir, more like a toner. It's like a gel-like consistency. The next question that I have here says that, what was your most worn clothing item of last year? Obviously, obviously, loungewear for everybody. Basically, just being at home, <laughs> hoodies, you know, because for the most part, um, after summer, I got cold. So, yeah, loungewear. Next thing I'm going to use is hyaluronic acid. This is from Skin Nutrition's. Um, just gonna put a few drops in my palm and then just press it in. And the next question is, if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Oh, I think I have the word. I just don't know. Like I have an idea of what I wanna say. It thought to be so many things. Teaching, I guess taught me so many things um so in one word i learned a lot so it was my year of lessons so i'll say lessons then the next question is what are you hoping for more of this coming year i'm hoping for more peace obviously um next i'm gonna go in with retinol from the same brand i'm hoping for more peace i am definitely also hoping for um, financial stability, it's definitely family growth, you know, all the good things, all the good things you can think of. I want it for myself and my family. And then next I'm going to go in with my eye cream from Dr. Brunt. Um, this stuff is really good. It's a retinol eye cream, so I love to use it for night time mostly very moisturizing i will try to link all the products that i've used in the description box below just in case you want to try to buy them um but this whole process is aimed towards like hydration all the products that i've used are supposed to help you retain moisture get a soft supple skin basically and it's a nighttime routine, that's why I'm going in with like a lot of products, you know. And then next I'm gonna go in with my sleep mask from also from Dr. Brandt. This stuff is very hydrating. I love it's like water based, so it gives you so much hydration. I love it. The next question is what are you hoping for less of this coming year? I am hoping for less of chaos in the world definitely because i'm looking forward to having um good energy all around you know when everybody feels good when business is moving on everybody's life is okay 
it makes like things move on well so i'm definitely looking forward to a lot more stability in like our life our finances everything you know basically everything um so yeah the last thing that i'm gonna put on is a face mask the light is so washed off i'm so sorry guys but yeah this is just a hydrogel face mask from mispa it's so slippery oh my god guys so basically my face literally my whole face is smothered in hydrogel this is good because i did a face mask so this is good for my skin to get that moisture back so i'm going to keep using the device and just keep going around and then massaging the products that I have into my skin. So this is like an actual facial, but at home. So at this point, I'm just gonna leave my skin to absorb whatever is left of this product because like the more I try to mess around with it, the more it get it gets me like this like little white white thingy. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I see that when I leave it, it does a better job. And my skin is really absorbing it, so then that's good. I have like two more questions to go through and then that should be it. Last, um, the last but one question says that what best book you read last year? Did we read? I didn't read last year. I'll just be honest with you. I didn't get through a book. I did read, but I didn't get through a book. Yeah, I did read, but I didn't get through a book. What's your new year's resolution for the upcoming year? Take it one day at a time. One step at a time, executing um, little goals at a time, you know. I've learned now not to like make big unrealistic goals, you know. There's no point in doing that. So right now I'm just going one step at a time, making cute little goals and then achieving them and then moving on. So henceforth that's how it's going to be. See, my skin really did absorb the stuff. Except for the white thing that it keeps leaving, but... That's good. I like it. I like it. I, like it gives me like proper hydration. I see it. So that's good. So yeah, basically that is the entire video. Just wanted to do my skincare chat a little with you guys. Um, and then I didn't just want to chat. So I wanted to do like some questions just so that it was a lot more better than just regular chatty. Um, I hope that you liked the video. I hope that you're into skincare as I am. I'm gonna link the products down below, like I said before, just so if you're interested, you can check them out. Also, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done that. Um, turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload. I love you guys so much. Akosia Vahini across all social media platforms. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>